I want to take an opportunity to thank the Vice President of the United States for coming to Texas today. What a remarkable and informative, but also a heartbreaking trip as we saw devastation from Rockport to Aransas County all the way over to Victoria. We saw broken homes and we talked to so many people with broken hearts. But we also saw something that is so incredible that has arisen because of this crisis. And that is the resiliency of our fellow Texans and our fellow Americans. We went up to some homes of people who had their homes completely destroyed. They were sitting out front and they were just proud to be a Texan and proud that we were there to help them out. We went to help remove debris from a lawn that was completely littered. And I had the chance to hold a two week old baby, a baby that was born just days before Hurricane Harvey hit our coast. And his mom was a prideful mom, beaming with that big motherly smile that you would expect as if the storm had never hit. But I want you to know, it has hit. It's hit the lives of the people all the way from Nueces County to Jefferson County and horrific flooding in between. And I am so proud of the way that the president and the vice president and their entire cabinet have stood up, stood strong, and supported the people of Texas. Since more than a week before the hurricane even came ashore, the president and his cabinet were in constant contact with my office asking, Governor, what can we do for the people of Texas? Ever since then, there's been close daily collaboration between my office, with local officials, with the White House, and with their cabinet. I've never seen a president, a vice president, or a cabinet who have responded as swiftly and as effectively to people in need, like the people of Texas overcoming the tragedy of Hurricane Harvey. Mr. Vice President, I thank you. I thank the president. I thank the cabinet members with us here today. But candidly, I gotta tell you, the people I think the most are fellow Texans. The way that we see Texans helping Texans rescue each other, pull each other 